Let me attempt with my left hand. Nice. You got it. <laughs> Hey yogis! In this episode of Yoga Lifestyle 101, we are going to talk about how to develop a morning routine. But first, let's put the time on the clock. Oh yeah. Sound ball. So we really believe that the most important time of your day is in the morning. And so our morning routine, or we have a morning routine every day in, in the morning that we follow and we follow it very strictly and we make it a very high priority. Especially if you work a full-time job and you spend most of your time at your office, you put, put in all the energy into your work. So when you come home at night and then you wanna take care of your own personal things, work on your personal goals, goals, there's really not much energy left. So that's why we always recommend to do the things that are important to you very first thing in the morning. To begin, the first thing is to wake up early. Wake up with the sunrise or before the sunrise, mainly because that's when the rest of the world is sleeping and it allows you the opportunity to uh, focus on yourself uh, first thing in the morning before you have to sit down and start answering emails or start responding to texts or just dealing with the, the income of messages that are just overwhelming. So if you can just wake up early first thing, and an automatic kickstart to your day and no one is expecting a response from you at 6 a.m. So uh, waking up at 5 or 5.30 is perfect. It allows you the chance to, to focus on yourself. And it of course helps if you live in a warmer country or warmer area. At least for us, it's a lot easier to wake up early when it's warm out. When it's cold out and winter, then it's a lot more difficult, but still you make it a priority to wake up early. And if this is something that's new to you, you can still sleep however many hours you wanna sleep and you can still get up early, you just need to go to bed earlier. So the very first thing you do when you wake up and your alarm goes off is don't hit the snooze. <laughs> Try to count down from five. As soon as your alarm goes off, just immediately count down from five. When it gets to zero, get up. It's gonna be hard at first, especially the first few days or weeks that you start waking up earlier, but you just have to force yourself to do it. It's really worth it. Once you're out of bed, the first thing you do is you brush your teeth and you scrape your tongue. You can get one of those copper tongue scrapers. It takes all the toxins out of your mouth first thing in the morning. Obviously use the restroom. Drink either warm water or a hot tea or lemon ginger water. We'll do another video explaining all of that, but uh, just get some warm liquids in your body first to kickstart your digestive system. Um, even before coffee, you should just have water or tea. Uh, it's easier on the, on the system to wake up. It's good to work on creative things first thing in the morning as well. So if you wanna do any reading or painting or photo editing or video editing or whatever it is, you can do that too. Then again, be careful with the screen. You don't want to stare at full brightness screen very early in the morning. Um, we also like to move in the morning. So we do our morning practice, our yoga asana practice, our meditation practice, pranayama, always in the morning so that we have it out of our way. And then whatever comes and comes up throughout the day, we already spend the time to invest in ourselves. And if you have to stay longer at work or some friend shows up and wants to have dinner or whatever comes up, it's fine. We can say yes to all these things. We are open, we are, we are flexible, we can be spontaneous too because the most important thing we already did and that was spending time for yourself in the morning. So by the time the rest of the world wakes up and they start hitting you with messages and requests, you've already invested time in yourself. So the morning routine is really, really important and something that we have do every day of our life and it's really changed. Uh, everything. Everything. Really. Yep. If you say you don't find time for yourself, you really just need to make time first thing in the morning. We think it's very, really not healthy, not a good idea if you wake up and you immediately check your emails from your work and you're there for other people right after waking up and coming back from your dreams. If you don't take care of yourself, then you cannot take care of anyone. Um, it just ends up being unhealthy for you. Maybe it's stressing you out more. You miss the time for yourself. So really take the time. This is one of the most important things that we learn is say no to other people. Take the time for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below what you want to see in the next video, what we should talk about in the next video. If you have not subscribed yet and you, and you like these videos, please subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Namaste. Namaste.